Hello everyone and welcome back to Master Detective Archives, Rain Code, and News Flash. It ain't looking good for two out of the three high school girls. And yeah, I I believe we are reaching the climax of this mystery labyrinth. There, there shouldn't be much more past this. Like seriously, what? Like, let's wrap this up. Oh, got that forest temple hallway. Look at this. Whoa. Before we figure out the culprit's motive, what kind of person was caught in anyway? A jerk? Was she cute? Th that's not important. Yes. But Whoa! more importantly, she was next in line to be star of the theater club. Yuma forgets about Karumi she was so fast. considered to be the best actress among the club's current members. Current, that's the thing. So the culprit was envious because she was so popular. They killed Karen so they could become the star instead. Well, maybe. No, I don't think it's that simple. Hey, who are you calling simple? Uh, uh. Six months ago, the leading member of the theater club also died in a separate case. Top actresses dying one after another? Is their club cursed or something? The name of the student who died was Aiko. Her death was ruled a suicide by jumping off the school, but Kurumi doubted that was the case. Kurumi, huh? She's all right. Uh, thanks. All right? Yes. Anyway, what? Whoa! I doubt it's a coincidence for people to die in such quick succession. He's like personally insulted. She's the best this case ever. This may have been triggered by Aiko's death. Yeah, I so I get the same feeling. The behind Aiko's death, maybe we can figure out the motive in this case. I mean, the truth if, behind Aiko's death. If they're all friends and they want to avenge Aiko, well, they were friends. That, <sighs> is it that simple, though? Oh, hey, hey, they actually what? made a model. Is that Aiko? Oh, she's cute too. Let's go talk to her. Dude, you're easy to please. She's about to get a taste of my full and undivided attention. Until you the next. You can already tell women or yeah. his downfall. Yeah. Oh well, it's not like you're any better off with yours truly, Master. What is that supposed to mean? I'm I'm just going to ignore that. But le legitimately, wait, 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 I thought we were chained to each other. How are you? How are you outrunning me? Continuity problem, jeez Louise. Wait, what'd you stop? The f Wait, I got this. Oh, I was gonna BLJ. God dang it. Was that Desihiko? That boy can scream. Whoa, uh, what the oh, I did not expect that. Is that what she was running ahead? Okay, okay. It, it's this part again. When she says that, you know it's go time. These twitch reflexes. Or not? Oh, no, just this again. This is bad. The crowd's giving way beneath our feet. It'll be fine. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Why is it so goofy? Good job. Yeah, you reached the same conclusion. That's just straight up the girl from Ultra Despair Girls. You can't tell. That's the same. Is, is that intentional? I don't know. Hey, let's hurry and catch her. Get Love the tragic types. She's oh, dead. We're trying to Did you forget the truth behind her death? Did you forget that she's dead? Oh my god, like that would stop him. Oh. Good luck, Master. Yeah, I got this. I'm feeling pretty sharp today. We can do it. It's just, you know, it's a it's a, it's a mouthful. You have to, it was Ico's death six months ago was suicide. It's definitely a homicide. No doubt. But do we even need to solve Ico's this case? Death six months ago was like Ico's death. A result of murder. I hate being one step ahead of it. Where was Ico murdered? The rooftop, most likely. What? Is the answer. No? Oh. Well, at least we get to see how that. I'm almost at half HP? No way. No. -uh. I could not handle mean difficulty, I guess. So. She was just murdered there in the flower bed, the I answer. guess. Then Karin stole her shoes and threw them on the roof. The of Aiko's murder is the flower bed. Ah. I don't follow, but what weapon was used to kill Aiko? A brick? Huh, I guess so. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating. Like, oh, there it is. The brick with Aiko's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. After the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. How did she do that with without Aiko screaming or anything? Who murdered Aiko? We've known this for basically hours. It was Karen. Because she was jealous. 
which is kind of crazy. No, it is crazy. And Cotton clearly lied in her testimony. Cotton killed Aiko. At least we. Uh, but how does that help us? Like, I'm sorry I'm being a butt. Like, I don't All see right. the full picture. Let's keep following her, Yuma. All right. I mean, nowhere to go except forward, I suppose. We're stabbing. Could it really be that simple? But then how would... Mm. I can tell Aiko's death wasn't a suicide from the evidence photos. We just, gotta, we just gotta wait and see. I can't draw any conclusions yet. Her it's too early. Her shoes were neatly placed on the roof, but there was dirt on them that looked like it came from a flower bed. Oh my god, it was that obvious! What? Why did... It, well, I mean, it's always raining, but no, near the... Near the flower bed was there... I just assumed, oh, it, they would be covered in dirt anyways. But no, most of the school is actually tile. Bro. All right, you got me on that one, video game. I can, I can I see. I think Aiko was told to meet at the flowers behind the school building and then murdered there. She just surprised her with the brick, I suppose. That way she couldn't scream. So the shoes were taken to the roof afterwards. Right, and then she reported she found the dead body. The murder weapon is likely a brick from the flower bed. Wow, I'm so... I'm so dumb. Is this new information to us? Because look at that brick. You must spitting, dude. The brick with Iko's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. Right, it ends right there. Oh my god. Well, dang, Karen's like tough as crud, man. Just give me that brick <laughs> and just ripped it out off the wall. Like, oh my god. Jesus. If she fell from above and hit her head, the blood stain wouldn't get cut off in that way. Yeah, it would also be all over the flowers. It'd be all, all over the entire garden. And if you have a tiny, dainty little head, your, your head's full of blood, yo. I'm sure that after the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. All right, she just didn't think about it. Dang. Uh, do you have evidence that Karen did it? No. If well. Aiko didn't die from jumping, Cotton's testimony makes her highly suspicious. And I guess that's good enough in a game where she said she heard something fall and went to inspect it. There's like four people max who can. I get it. You know. A sound that never happened means she's obviously lying. Yeah. So that's Cotton enough. Cotton lied, and the reason why she lied was to get away she with murder. She made it appear like Aiko jumped. If that's the case, right, the how many one stairs? who killed Aiko is Cotton. What was this, FF7? Christ. All right, yeah, we reached the conclusion. But uh, I guess that gives motive why the others would... Oh, wow, it's just the school recreated? Golly, it looks pretty. <laughs> it was not a graceful transition. She disappeared? Damn it! Oh. <laughs> I can't even help the girl who needs it most! No, you get a better link next time, buddy. Help her? She was dead long before you could help her. I don't think he heard that part. Anyway... This must be the roof I could supposedly jump from. Uh, hey. Why did Cotton kill Aiko? I thought an all-girls school would be more sunshine and rainbows than... murder. If I've learned anything from this chapter, it's that... Who oh, buddy, girls, and, uh, you think they'd be nice to each other, but not always the case. If a brick was used as the murder weapon, then it could have been an impulsive crime. So Cotton might not have been planning to kill Aiko when she called her there. Oh, maybe they got into an argument? You mean they were talking and it turned into a crime of passion? That's so cliche. Uh, maybe they were discussing their acting careers. They had a disagreement and it turned to violence. Yeah, and Karen got like hysteric muscle and just ripped out a brick. Like, I'm sorry, like that, that's kind of whack, like, that's crazy. Well. If this caused the other murder case, then is the motive revenge? Yeah, they weren't fighting over Aiko's spot. They wanted to get back at Cotton for taking it away. Meaning the culprit is whoever cares the most about Aiko? That's the part I'm stuck on, because they've been arguing nonstop. Or they've been indifferent towards each other when we were literally them. They did not slip. They absolutely did not say a word so unless they're like okay we'll do this but then we must never speak to each other ever again to avenge our mutual friend Aiko that's the only way I see this going down but at the same time that seems like too, I don't know that seems actually I can't even have a counter argument for that I think I think we got it then 
Which of the suspects is it? I don't, I think it's them, mm, I think it's two of them working together. <laughs> In fact, where do we even go from here? We got the motive, but there's still no path. Oh God, do we jump? Like in the clock tower? Oh no. This is different from the other dead ends. I think there's a mystery around here. Something must be hidden here. Have a look around. I can do that. Okay, nice. It's a new type of puzzle. Oh, this is like actually really pretty. Not a little bit eerie. Is that like Olympus in the background? Hold up. What is what is going on with that? Uh, yeah, I only see one thing to... Oh, no, this isn't a option to jump. It's just a look into the distance. Okay. Hey, check it out. What? What'd you find? Oh, the three paths. Is that the how routes we were looking for? Yeah, they all lead to here. We're so high up. When did this happen? We climbed a lot of stairs, dude. Master, look over there. That's... What's that? Wait. It doesn't seem connected to anything else. Is that the whole... No, really, what is that? Which means that could be the who location. That's not the castle that we we, we, we fight the final boss in. So the true culprit is over there then? But how do we reach it? Uh, 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 it's not connected to any other route. You got me. Where'd the music go? What, are you freezing up? Scared of heights or something? Oh, it's not that. Uh, about those three routes. Oh my god, Desuhiko saving the day? No way. No way. Huh, what is he doing? Is that a crayon? Or do you have a crayon? Oh, Pen? we're in the classroom. You carry that around with you all the time? I guess, I mean, he is a detective. Oh, of course. Who knows when I'll be asked for my autograph? <laughs> <laughs> That's so in character. <laughs> God dang it, he's so... Isn't it perfect? Oh, you think... Well, who was orange? I'm just as good at drawing maps as I am at remembering a pretty face. Was that Waruna or... Because Yoshiko was center, right? This is the how roots when seen from above, right? What about it? Well, this is a dungeon, right? So maybe there are some secret paths in here. Secret paths? Yeah, if the if that route is the longest, then it would logically man. Mystery Labyrinth's kinda just saving our butt in this case. See? If you look at it this way, doesn't it all seem like the same road? Well uh yeah. You're right. The three how routes are connected into a single route all the way to the Who room. Man, I think I'm starting to realize the whole like mission statement of this game. The Mystery Labyrinth is just a giant allegory for how detectives piece together and reach the truth, which is their destination. Like, this is the most clear visual of that we've ever had. I'm... I'm, in, I'm impressed. Wait, all three are connected? That's it! I think I've got it! That's the hidden truth behind the how route! There's only one explanation for how the victim could have been poisoned! If they all work together. What? Seriously? I guess, but while we're not. Uh, while we're not. Not bad. You finally made yourself useful. Hey, it took him to the eleventh hour, but he. You got that. T you got that touchdown. Won the game. So whatever. Yay! Shinigami complimented me. I love you, Shinigami. Wasn't I a good boy? Oh. I deserve a treat, right? Oh my God! Base of maneuver. Yucky, if you think but... you got this, I'll back you up. Okay. Play it all out. Uh, how do we? We're do... Oh, Frey's gonna lose his marbles. <laughs> no, he's actually knocked out because he went for that hug and totally whiffed. I didn't take off the ability that slows this mini game down. We're officially boned. Great. Great. Okay, focus on, focus on, focus on. I'm not using the keys unless I absolutely have to. What is our big question here? Come on, come on, hurry. Are you ready to play this the only way the crime was possible was by having an uh, accomplice? Uh, no, why are they multiple letters? That's not fair. By having an... You can do it, master. A comp, a comp. Yeah, a comp. 
I can't spell. Accomplice. Yeah, we got it. They were all each other's accomplices. Accomplice. We got it. Wow. Oh my god! Hey! First try, let's go! That's the first time the whole game! But seriously, why can they not just be a single letter? It's not Hangman anymore, it's just... It's just effing rude. Oh, she's going to sleep. Hopefully she never wakes up. <laughs> I'm so petty. <laughs> what are you blasting, though? I guess the clouds? Oh, uh, she's parting the seas. Okay. That's right. Accomplices. The truth of this case is that Yoshiko, Warona, and Kurane were all accomplices and committed this crime together. Woohoo. Oh, like this entire school is going to lose even more. Like, this sucks. Even Warren is going to die? Come on! No! Accomplices? But don't they hate each other's guts? They are actors, I guess. It's the truth. I realized it once you drew this map, Tetsuhiko. I, the three I, how routes that we explored were all dead ends. This is terrible. I'm sorry. I'm not. Trying, I'm not just being over dramatic. I know I am being over dramatic. I agree, but like, <laughs> they, just, they have to. They ruined their entire life. Each of them what were the suspects, frick? but they were all ruled out because of certain details of the case. We're gonna get the criminal! Yay! We're gonna do it! Woohoo! This is so self-serving. Frick, man! Can we just <laughs> like this isn't even like oh they're a crazy murderer they're gonna like murder again like it's a one-time thing. That's just a little murder. Whatever. I'm not not excusing that, but it's just that makes sense. If we look at them okay. separately, we get dead ends. I'm not even listening to you, my bro. Like but by connecting all three roots like this and looking at it as a single criminal act. Oh, we just run through the walls. I see. It clearly becomes one path forward. Dang, that is clever. I wonder if you match up all of the placements of the rooms. If it is exact, it probably is exactly like this. You take a ride and then you take, yeah. They were accomplices that committed a single crime. I guess the Mystery Labyrinth does take accessories to murder into account. This murder would have been impossible to commit alone. We figured that out during the How route. But if the three of them worked together, they could make it possible. This sucks. This officially sucks. Huh? Also, oh, what's this? Th that is like so goofy. Ha ha ha! Have no fear! Picky is here! That's the best name I could come up with. Picky the pickaxe! <laughs> I will asunder any wall! Unless it's obsidian. I can't break that. I guess we're supposed to break the wall? Sounds like fun if I'm in! Okay. It's all thanks to my help, don't you think? And don't you forget it. You're the one who's going to forget it. True. Anyway, let's check it out. I forgot we all of that. Sure, we're on the right track. Oh, we got it, bro. Kamikaze! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Buster got blown to pieces. It's a good thing we didn't have enough MP for that attack. That's what happens when you use a sacrifice spell. <laughs> you died, so it's game over. Time to return to the title screen. Hey, this game auto saves, right? Well, that's what I want to do. But I'll give you one more try and take you back to the selection. Be sure okay. to pick the right one next time, okay? Sure. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'll watch and wait. Huh? What? Was that wrong? I'll watch and wait. Is this another Dragon Quest reference? Sorry, I'll pick again. <laughs> I want to see if he explodes. <laughs> I'll watch and wait. Dang it. Also, why are these attack names censored? I thought Spike Chunsoft owned... No, I guess Enix owns it. They just made the game. But... By separating the house, the three of them divided up the tasks that needed to be done to pull off the murder. Don't you think so, Yuma? Yeah, I think it's the only way. Huh? Ah, oh, you sure sound confident. I don't want to be confident. I honestly want to be wrong. But we can't run from the truth. We'll never get out of here. How the three work together pull off the impossible. And now, Ooh. there's a new problem to solve. We have to expose the secret behind their complicity. Okay. Well, Kurene was on the lights and directed 
Karen to take the glass. Uh, maybe uh, Yoshiko replaced the glass? I still don't know how she could do that. Other than with the water pistol, I... How exactly they cooperated together and the timeline of the crime? G got it. The timeline, huh? Then the first thing to discuss is... Uh, what? <laughs> um, okay. Can we pick? Oh, the door. So the first one we need to go through. How was the poison brought to the theater? Mixed in the glass. How was the poison glass chosen? You'd have to, yeah, bring the poison to the theater because you can't... Well, technically, how was the glass chosen? is relative. That could be in the literal sense of like, okay, did they choose it before the play, like during their scheming, or as it was happening? But still, I mean, we saw the outline outside. We probably have to start with the red route. How was the poison brought to the theater hall? You sure about that? I think so. I mean, I got half HP. I can be a little reckless, Shinigami. got <laughs> me. All right, come on, bring in the cues. Let's start with the poison being brought to the theater hall. Their conspiring began with how was the poison brought to the theater hall. He doesn't sound so sure. Neither am I. It's a route we already explored to the very end, so let's blast uh, through it. Uh, was she enthusiastic? Wait. I guess she's just happy to reach the end. I was right? Question mark. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Oh my God. Wait. What? What are you grabbing on? The only oh. The person who could have brought the Portrait. poison to the theater hall was Yoshko, right? Yeah, the poison neutralizes after 30 minutes, so it had to be brought into the theater during the show. As the production assistant, only Yoshiko could have done it. Looking back, the reason they chose poison as the murder weapon was to establish an alibi. The poison was only active for 30 minutes, which gave the other girls an alibi. Yeah, Yoshiko went to the that. lab for the poison as soon as the performance began. She had the extra glass hidden in her bag, and after she brushed poison onto it, she put it back in her bag and returned to her seat in the front row as if nothing happened. But how did she get up on the stage and replace the glass? You know what I mean? The problem is, what happened next? Uh, yeah. We're here. You're off, master. Okay. Yeah. Man, so far they're kind of just spoon feeding me the answers here, but I guess we still need to do our own part. What did Yoshiko. Hmm. Handed it to Waruna? When would she have a chance to do that? The blackout, maybe? Because Karen doesn't make sense. She's not a collaborator. Kurene is on light duty. <sighs> that means she actually did something. No, Waruna, what the dog? This sucks. Isn't this the how was the poison mixed into the glass root? Dude, you can't remember 20 minutes ago? Wow. It really connected. We already know this because we could just shut up! Alright, let's keep going and reach the truth! What's more annoying? His, his like his sexual desire or just like, oh yeah, this is the route with the Shut up, man! Whoa! Somebody do one thing! Jesus! Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be like. It's gonna be torn apart. Yoshiko handed the poison glass over to Waruna, but. Waruna was performing on stage, right? How could she receive the glass while on stage? Blackout, she would know she. The only time I can think of is when they turned off the lights. And she's already on the stage. It just takes a. You know, they just swap the glasses. Real quick, like. We know this because Yoshiko. Yoshiko right edge of the front row close to the wings. Are just gonna show it to us like this? She probably stood up when the lights went out and left the poisoned glass near the right wing. Oh. Even if she couldn't get on stage, she could at least do that within five seconds. Yeah. Then, Warna picked up the glass and hid it under her costume. Whoa, what? Hey, no what? Costume check happens before the performance, so she got around that by receiving the cup during the performance. Huh? What? No, I, what? I see. So 
they passed the baton during the five seconds the lights were out. How did she? I I refuse. I I I do not see how she hid a glass in her outfit. Sorry, you lost me on that one. The two of them must have rehearsed it as much as the rest of the play. All right, I guess she found a way. But what happened after that? Suppose Waruna did get the poison glass. How did she swap it with the real glass while the play was still ongoing? A few moments after the blackout, there's a scene where Waruna approaches the shelf. It only lasts two or three seconds, but Waruna's hands on the shelf are completely hidden from the audience. At that moment, Waruna could have switched out the original glass with the poisoned one. So they used the play itself for their seemingly impossible crime. <laughs> Talk about guts. This is something only thespians could pull off. And they almost got away with it, but magical death god powers, so... <laughs> Shinigami? <laughs> Isn't there a safer way down? You don't, you don't have to follow her like this. You can just run behind. Master, hurry up and break this one down too! Right. Got it. Uh, what is even going to be the question here? We just straight up know that... How was the poison glass chosen? Kurne guided it. Obviously. He's known that for a while. Oh, obviously, he says, when he's half HP. Oh! Okay. All right. We got this one, too. Only a bit more. Let's keep going. She cannot contain herself. She's hungry. Wait, can't we take a break? <laughs> Guess not. He ran ahead before. He can do it again. This is the final behind, one. It's the how was the poison glass chosen it. From here, it's exactly as we solved it before. Kurene told Karin beforehand to take the glass the spotlight hits first. And then, after confirming the poisoned glass from the catwalk above, the spotlight was pointed directly at it. And that's the method behind the murder weapon. Method? Sounds more like madness when you ask me. <laughs> oh, for real, like... Imagine if Warren had messed up. Like, oh my god. That solves this mystery. That's We've almost reached the truth. Like, that's putting an almost unbelievable amount of trust. And not only yourself to not mess up your plan, but Kurene to hit the right glass with the spotlight. Like, that's that was always the thing holding me back from Seriously? Declaring, yeah. So it's it's terrible. It's they I don't even know what to think about this. Huh? Why? Because I haven't gotten Shinigami to fall for me yet. Dude, it's... that's not gonna happen. Even if you stay here for a hundred years. In fact, I basically hate your nuts. Hey, at least you at least she told you straight up, like you could have been worse. You know. <laughs> beyond the hate, there could be love. It's kinda like traveling the world. You and I can go in opposite directions. But eventually, we'll meet. Dude, you lost me. I don't even know what he's talking about anymore. Like, he might as well be saying a different language. Like, That's a stretch. I... That was the weirdest simile ever. I feel sick. Don't worry, this you'll forget you feel sick. Wall. Let's just skedaddle. I... Master, are you ready? Let's solve this thing! I guess they all right. The water gun wasn't used at all? That's bananas! Dude, that's bullcrap. I'm so mad. Yes, it fell. Because it technically could have been the water gun. I, you know, mm. Only if it was Yoshiko, I guess. And behind that door is the Hoo Room. We finally made it. Oh, you can shoot in the dark, it's though. It's time to right. end this, Master. I know. I don't feel good at all. I feel actually sick to my stomach. Like, there's no joy in this. To save our own butts and Kurumi, I guess, can't forget about her, we will take the lives of three high school children. Dude, this is so dumb. Was the game, like, intended to make you feel like crap? Because I'm there, bro. I'm there. It looks like all the culprits are here. But there. Why do they look so sad? Because I go dead, bro. Come on, focus. How boring. You call yourselves the final bosses of the mystery uh, labyrinth? Just... Then start acting like it. Might as well guard the truth till the end at this point. I want to fight, bro. Oh, I guess they kind of have to. Do I. 
I feel like Desert Eco, bro. They're crying. I'm crying. <laughs> Sorry, girls. You gotta die. I guess. Ah! That's horrible. <sighs> I know, Yuma. <laughs> it's not our, our, our problems. Our, our hearts are so big. I have a champ heart. <laughs> it's true, but... Man. It's either that or we get punished, so screw it. It's either us or them. You know what? They, pff, they ain't perfect, so it's shopping time. I, 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 I can't, I can't, I literally can't even pretend to think like that. Oh, they put an awesome shader on the castle this time. Wow. A little bit of lighting goes a long way. All right, this time. Oh, and then they ruined it, man. Whatever, it's fine. I've been practicing my G.O.D. skills. And by that, I mean I played the last one over again. Because this game's kind of cool. You can select chapters. But... Let's just get this over with. Come on. Swallow me whole, madam. I'm sorry. Oh, that's just nasty. I just <laughs> that's just the silliest fetish ever. It's like, what is wrong with <laughs> And John, just like that, Johnny alienated even more of his viewers. Oh, look at him. Look at him. They're trying to be evil and stuff and failing. We're the true villains. Shinigami, you're the worst. Let's do this, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this has been rough, y'all. It is a fun chapter up until. Ah, uh, so much for my practice! Jesus. Wait, Yoshiko's trying to take all the blame? She's trying to be the leader here. There's no reason. Mm, let's think about this. Huh. Well, a photo of Yoshiko and Aiko. It appears two of them were cut out from a larger photo. Is it, is it to say that no, you all were all friends with Yoshiko? I don't think the two photo here shows that to the fullest. There's a reason why you needed to collaborate with them. Man, it's a 50-50 between this, in my opinion. I'll go with this. You're all there to avenge Aiko. I don't think we've ever screwed these up. This might be the failure. Nope, never mind. Like maybe the scythe bounces off the wall. That could be it. Yeah. He's just like me, bro. You was literally me. Yeah, I guess I guess we guess we did it. <laughs> oh, there's that classic Warren a charm. Like at least go to jail or something. Or you can get rehabilitated. This is just literally You can never atone. I got actually I got so baited by the water. What? Oh, it's just all the same answer? Are you serious? Dang, bro, this is a real head scratcher. Where does she store the- Hold on, hold on, hold on! Where does she store the glass? I don't want any nasty answers, but... Uh, <laughs> We're talking about my dress, Johnny Awesome! You're right, that's weird. But I'm just saying, like... I guess it doesn't matter how she did it. That's the... the for the story's sake, she found a way to make it work. Oh, I thought you were trying to kick me from here. Oh, there it is. Gotta give it to the voice actresses for this chapter. I mean, they don't talk a lot, but you gotta admit. I'm so mad about that. They did a great job giving them all personality. Sorry, my heart belongs to Kurumi, so... No, that probably isn't true. Uh huh? Oh, what do you mean by that? It's a farce, or dare I say, an act. If you put together the three photos they each have... What? So they're all in the same picture? <laughs> you didn't see that? That's the truth. I thought you loved mysteries. You're not even paying attention to clues. I guess there are a ton. Effin, this is not cool. No I will admit, though, if this was all a bunch of dudes... I would not, I would care like, t probably, probably like 10% less. I mean, you know. Oh, you can't jump over that? Come on. But genuinely. I don't know. I guess you just do have more sympathy when it's girls. Not trying to be weird about it, but it's just like, yeah, it's just like, dang. Did Karen really have to go down? I actually tried there, bro. I don't freak happen. There could have. I guess this is the only way for, in their mind, for Karen to ever have any sort of justice. 
I hit freaking. I, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> this is post practice, y'all. Please go away. <laughs> what was that high kick? What there the is no bond between us. Uh, yeah, you have a single photograph. We're all posing together. Only best friends in the world would do that. Sorry, you're going to jail. And by that, I mean hell. This is the truth of the case. For all we know, it could be purgatory. We're eating your souls. I'm just too invested, bro. I care too much. That's my one weakness. Also, I eat too much red meat. But that's the secondary weakness. The main weakness is that, yeah, for these people, these characters, I just having met, I have far too much sympathy for. I, I, I'm going to cry. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, it's not that serious, but we're saving Dezuhiko and Yuma. No, we're saving three people for three other people's lives. But no, we're still going to get shot. Like, what the? Jeez. And it's just me. Is this one of the shorter labyrinths? Oh, man, the music's like extra sad now. This is just a guess. But you three weren't actually on bad terms with each other, were you? In fact, it was all an act to get revenge for Aiko. You all cherished the same picture with her. It was originally a single photo of you all together, with Aiko in the middle. You were all close friends. And when you connect the <laughs> pictures together... <laughs> very very good, Dezuhiko. You, yes, that's... How, that's I'm glad we reached the same conclusion. Everyone is there, smiling. So, why? Come on, we've got work to do before you get all sappy. Let's go. One more push and we'll be done with this labyrinth. Bruh. Frank, <laughs> you <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> oh my god. What would a hero do? A real defender of justice would defeat evil here and now and be done with it. But life's not like that, bro. Sometimes it, it, things do be morally gray sometimes, though. But I'm no hero. All I want is the truth. And the truth is right here. So why go any further? Will solving this mystery really make anyone happy? Dude, I... I guess that's the reality here is sometimes, yeah, the real truth can suck. Sometimes a detective can even solve a case and it's not a happy ending. Master, do you sympathize with them? I mean, a little bit. I'm just saying it's not because... Uh, uh, that's not something a detective should do. Your job is to solve mysteries, isn't it? I wonder if this is how Yako felt when it was like the 19th time he found out. Yeah, your wife's cheating on you. Oh, he's crying again. Oh, buddy. Ugh. I'm still getting paid, right? If so, you have to expose the truth. You have to prove it in a way anyone can understand and anyone can see. Even if someone was barely paying attention like Dezuhiko? Okay. Detectives aren't defenders of justice. They're defenders of truth. Defenders of truth. You know, it sounds kind of lame when you say it out loud, but yeah, I guess we are. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. You think... You think number one felt like this too? Because dog... I guess some crazy tattoos too. If freaking I had to keep dealing with this crap, emotions I... must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Like we weren't even classmates, bro. Like it'd be different if they were annoying for like four chapters in a row. Then they were the bad guy, but this is just freaking. Well, they had so many friends. It's easier said than done. Yeah, yeah. Yuma, if you can't do it, I can take your place. Can you? No. I'll do it. Right. I'll take responsibility. I'll see this through. It was nice of him to offer, though. Man, it's just like I said, bro. I guess he's such a pervert because, man, yeah, he... You know. He can become anybody, do all these awful things, but he doesn't. Frick, man. <laughs> it's not even that sad. I don't know what's gotten into me, bro. 
Oh, a total 180. And this is the third chapter. Bro, beating the furry? Sure. Beating Darkfly? And freaking... What was the other guy's name? I don't effing know. Like, that was... That was... Heck yeah. Dab me up. You know? But, <laughs> would you avenge your best friend? I mean... I don't know. Maybe. No. I... All right, so. Your team, Jacob? Ew! Pushes her over, gets furious, kills her. Yeah, okay, we've heard it all. So, she used her Herculean-like strength, picked up the brick, which probably the brick was just a little loose. I'm being silly. What is wrong with her? She just... You know what it is? Bad parenting! That's the real issue here. I bet she is the daughter of the president of Amaterasu Corp. And it all ties back to this, man. This disgusting turd raising this disgusting turd daughter that committed murder as a joke because she does not value human life. So sick. All right, where was Yoshiko hit it? All right, what do we what do we even have? Oh man, this is like an annoying pattern. Okay, hold on. Let's just let's just do what we have. Okay. So what is this? What a Karin used a guide. Wait, wait. Karine used a guide. Yeah, yeah. The directions from the script. Mm, nope. Well, I guess when was that established? Dang, I actually lost maximum HP, bro. Like, that was effed up. But I guess that would be the spotlight and not the script. What did Warna do? She moved around the cups. Yeah. Or actually swapped. The cup she had hidden somewhere in her wardrobe with the poisoned cup. And, oh my god. It's a good thing she didn't, like, touch it or anything. Oh my god! It was just... Th I will say nothing. We will just move on. That's... Hey, the game did answer it. Alright, what other clues we got? Jumping by suicide. Right, right, right. Let's just go ahead and put that one in. That was over here. That's taken care of. I... And the, yet again, I just need to look at the solution keys more. Nine times out of ten. We can almost solve the mystery. It's not the mystery labyrinth 100%. Like, it, it gives us... It makes sure you get there. But if you really looked at the evidence for long enough, I truly do think you could reach the conclusion by yourself. But let's... What did Kurene... Yeah, use the guide. That would be the spotlight. Boom. I still don't know where I put the script at then. But we have unlimited time, so it's, it's pretty chill. We can just... I guess it has to be here. Yoshiko apply the glass. Where is he? Oh, Yoshiko is headed to the chemistry lab to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Man, let's be honest, though. If we really had to, like, frame it on anybody, it would be Yoshiko. She 100% did this. Like... Uh, I just don't want the others to die. I don't want her to die either, but it has to be somebody. What did Yoshiko apply to the glass? Okay, it's definitely the poison. Dude, she suck, suck it up. They're they're dead. They're they're dead. We have to just avenge them somehow. Make this heck of a town a better place. I don't even know if that's possible, but it's the only thing we can do now. Okay. Took the poison glass because the script said to, and yeah, the fucking Jesus, dude. That's how it happened. But how'd she get that glass in her dress? That's crazy. Ain't no way won't anyone can walk like that. Well, I guess if you... I get it. You just put it... You, like... You walk like a penguin. Easy. Easy! That's all... That's all... T she did a little penguin Step walk. Right up. Step right up! A tragedy that struck an academy stage. The death of a high school girl casting a shadow over four bickering theater club members. Truth bombs are about to be dropped! This case begins uh. with Aiko's death six months ago. Aiko was thought to have committed suicide by jumping off the roof. But in truth, Cotton murdered her. The shoes left on the roof had dirt on them from the flower bed at the crime scene. The blood stains on the bricks were also unnatural. And it was obvious that an amateur had faked it. If it wasn't a suicide, it would contradict Cotton's testimony. However, she didn't originally intend to kill Aiko. It was a crime of passion. That begs the question, though. What were they talking about there? So they got into an argument, 
cut and saw red, then boom? Women are so scary. I'm not saying nothing. I'll get killed for any culture. Yoshiko, Warona, and Kurane probably realized the truth behind what happened. The three teamed up to avenge Aiko. They used the dress rehearsal to commit this crime. Regardless of the reason, getting together to plan a murder is pretty crazy. <laughs> girls will be girls, I guess. What a wild and crazy time. Yoshiko in the audience. Bring the poisoned glass to the theater hall. Once unsealed, the poison is harmless after 30 minutes. So she went to the lab 15 minutes after the play began. The poison container is too big to transport unnoticed. So she applied it to the glass in her bag with a paintbrush. Thus, the poison glass was created. She brought it back to the theater hall, then went on standby at the right end of the front row. Warna, who was acting on stage, was to switch out the poisoned glass. During the five second blackout 30 minutes into the play, Yoshiko placed the poisoned glass in the wings. Warna, on stage, retrieved it and hid it under her costume. Then, in the scene where she approaches the shelf, she exchanged the glass there with the poisoned one. Switching in the murder weapon on stage while everyone is watching? What a pervy exhibitionist! I was wondering if they would mention that, and they did. I'm... I'm just disappointed. What's perverted about that? I don't know, but like... I, uh... And Kurene, on the lights, would guide Karin to take the poisoned glass. Then came the duel of poison cups! The two glasses on the shelf had juice poured into them. Cotton and Warana shuffled them in a way the audience couldn't see. But Kurene, who was on the catwalk directly above the stage, saw exactly which glass held the poison. Right. That, oh my god, that's so important to the plan. Warana had faith in not just a random stranger, but Kurene, who was... Despite having only one eye to look out, yeah, she, she did a good job. She confirmed the location of the poison's glass the spotlight on it first. Cotton drank from that glass 45 minutes after the start of the play. Winner, winner! Poisoning complete! That was so long! Good job! Kurene told Cotton of a change in stage direction, but the victim was to take the glass the spotlight hits first. Cotton followed this instruction to take the poisoned one. The whole what? sequence of events for this crime would have been impossible for a single person. Their cooperation was also a means to conceal their involvement. Right, they all had alibis. But I can't shake the feeling that there was some other reason behind it. Wait, what? The ruthless, disgusting criminals who conducted this murder are... Yoshiko! Warana! Kurane! You are the killers! Wait, what? Dude, same. They may have pretended to always be at odds with one another, but deep down, they were bonded through their shared admiration for Aiko. There's nothing left to say. Let's just let's just get this over with, man. I hate you, Shinigami. I actually just hate you this time. Like, can we, can chapter three be just, you know, good old fashioned? I was the guy that set babies on fire. And, 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 my answer. said puns. Oh, that's the most evil thing I could think of. A guy who kills babies and does puns. I. <sighs> can they just get to attention or something? No, Johnny, girls can't just get lighter sentences because they're was girls. Was there really no other way? You're right. This is the only way. Was there no way to prove Cotton did this without killing her? I guess not with the way things are in Kanai Ward. They had to take justice in their own hands. That's not possible. 
Not in Kanai Ward. Yeah, took the words out of my mouth. The peacekeepers bend the truth whichever way they want to. The three girls couldn't get justice from them. The whole system! Oh! Led to this crime. We live in a society. We live in a society. Literally the game. Oh, I'm so mad. I am pissed! But that's... It doesn't make it right. I gotta stop punching my desk, though. Because if I do it again, I'll break it. <sighs> How long did you put on an act for this? Oh my god, Yuma, yo! Aiko was our sunlight. No! Wherever she went, we were meant to be there with her. She was... Everything to us. We were together ever since we were young. No. Her dream was our dream. We were nothing special. But she called us her rivals. Those words encouraged us oh, to oh, carry just, on. Just shut up. Just kill him already, please. But now she's gone. Everything's hopeless now. The three of us investigated Iko's death. I used my parents' connections to view top secret case files. Oh my god, you're right, you- But, no matter what we did, the peacekeepers refused to reopen the case. Because, Karen's father is a big shot at Amaterasu Corporation. I, I called it. That's why we had to do it ourselves. We wanted revenge. Revenge? became everything for us. And to get it, we pretended to fight amongst ourselves. We are actors, after all. Well done. But we don't have to anymore, right? We don't have to keep this up. Dude, just rest in peace, please. Hopefully they don't we go to- We put on quite a show. Purgatory. Didn't we, Aiko? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, the camera's breaking! I don't know what's going on! <laughs> what the dog? <laughs> uh, I need a second. Give me a, Hold on. Peacekeepers suck. What else is new? This leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Then again, most cases do. You're lucky. You'll forget it. Ever but happen. that's the end. We can finally return to the real world. I hope the girls open up like that in the real world, too. Dude, you... if you only knew the half of it. No. I don't think they can. Dude, think about their mutual friends and their freaking parents, their freaking... Huh? Why is that? This is a massacre. Oh, also, <laughs> where's Shinigami? Doing her stupid magical girl. Tee <laughs> I'm gonna kill them all! Yay! Well, what do you think? Oh, wh why are you so beat up? What did you do? What? Did you fall in love with me? I know you did. You must have, yeah? I already told you. I will never fall for you. You are seriously getting on my nerves. Hey, watch it. Yo, we're this close to the end. Do not anger her, dude. You're annoying and exhausting. Uh, it's not wrong. Desuhiko? <laughs> Did you think I was serious? Oh my god, he's gonna like... <laughs> you think I'd ever fall for a flash as an uncle like you? <laughs> I'm more of a behind kind of guy anyway. I was just testing the bond between uh, you two. It, he went down a completely different route. Our bond? It's more like a curse. At least to me. Truly. Uh, right. <laughs> I was just... Testing. I, <laughs> I wasn't serious. Looks like he's about to punch somebody. I didn't get rejected, okay? I didn't. Yeah, yeah, no. That was not happening. Uh, I... All right. Just calm down. Anyway, let's do it. Time to exterminate the souls of the true culprits and destroy the mystery labyrinth. Wait, Shinigami, do we really have to do this? I mean, they... They're murderers! The reason why doesn't matter. Dude, I don't know. Like, call me crazy. I I, I think this is a rare... <sighs> I don't know. I make my living reaping the souls of criminals. Yeah, she gotta eat and stuff, but come on. Because I'm Shinigami! I hate it here.
Also, real talk, executions from the previous game they worked on, way better than this. I'm tired of watching this cutscene. I don't give a, I don't give a frick. Wrap it up. Come on. There's the chance to do something funny during it, so I have to watch it, but... Genuinely, an exhausting chapter for multiple reasons. I do love this song, though. I don't know. I guess when I really get wrapped into these games, I think of even the stuff they don't show us. Like the Peacekeeper is just knocking on the door of some, uh, of, you know, the parents' house and be like, uh, bad news. Your kid just dropped dead. We don't know what happened and we never will know. Even if they are total douchebag Amaterasu scum that profit off, I guess, the suffering of others. I don't want anybody to go through that, bro. Let alone three people during the same day. Not even the big wig chief of Amaterasu Corporation. Like, will he even care? Oh my God, what if he doesn't? Maybe that's why Karen was acting out. Oh my God, see like the game doesn't go over this, but I get my, my mind can't help but wander, I guess. Wait, was that a bullet? What? Oh, I guess she missed? <gasps> Dang, you suck. When did you? Oh, time stop. Huh? Right. What the? He's smiling. Wait, what just happened? Oh, oh, hold on. Let's so calm down. <laughs> what? Oh my God. They're going to pin it on Martina? <laughs> the evil murderers have been expunged. That's the only way we can get out of this. Martina's bullet oh, missed and... I got one more job to do. Oh, right. Possess them. Ow, bullet poisoning. Even though there's no trace of a bullet. Owie. Uh, uh. Excuse me, everyone. The culprits behind this incident were Waruna, Karne, and myself. All three of us conspired to poison Karin. Uh, the way we got her to ingest the poison was... It's a lot, so take your time. Wait, what? Shinigami, you already forgot? Oh no, they're just, they're just elaborating. Doing that. Don't want to hear it again. Lord knows it's been three times. If you still don't know, if you, Johnny, I don't really get it. Like, bro, you gotta, you gotta get your ears looked at. <laughs> I don't know what you people have done, but next time it won't go your way. Remember that. <laughs> it's been going my way a lot lately. Ah, uh, okay, so it wasn't just a. Sp Did you see that? Uh, no. What? <laughs> she was staring at me the whole time. She's gotta be in love with me. Oh, fine. I guess she can keep the piece of my love as well. Do people really think this way? I... Oh my god, Yuma. He's gonna have his depression arc. I'm not... Ha hey, what's got you so down? All three of them just died out of nowhere. Nobody's to blame for that. Yeah, there's like three less hot chicks in the world, but... Oh my god, is that why you're upset? Dude, I empathize. It really is a tragedy. There's no reason for either of us to feel guilty. <sighs> Seems like all the memories from the mystery labyrinth are completely gone. Master, we're in the clear. All three of their deaths won't be your fault now. Dude, and we have an even bigger target on our back. We'll never be able to sleep again. That's not what I'm worried about. Oh, he doesn't even care about himself. He's just like, oh my god, I killed three people. Yuma! Well, here's someone to cheer us up. Hi, Wendy. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Kurumi? Now I'm glad I killed pe three people. I can hug Kurumi again. He's not thinking that, but. Thank you for saving me. Okay, I maybe deep down. To the rescue. Right, right. Oh my god, the main reason. Dude, tell us what do you know about the freaking biggest secret? Uh, oh my god. I forgot what we were all doing. Hey, we're doing this. Are you alright? Uh, the peacekeepers didn't harm you, did they? Did they poke you with a, like, 10 foot pole? I, I hear they do that. I don't know why. They just do. No. I'm fine. Oh, thank God. Hey, Yuma? 
I don't want to get in the way of this tearful reunion, but maybe we should get out of here. It'll be trouble if the peacekeepers come back. True. Let's oh, talk somewhere right. quiet. Let's leave then. Oh, oh that was a new transition. Hey, that's kind of cool. Wow. But what do you think the secret's going to be? And he's... I mean, we need honestly anything. And this is our best source. Oh god, I hope it's good. Please, just anything. I mean, it might lead us to the next, like, big case, you know? And that could save the day. I just... I'll go on ahead to the agency and put in a good word for you. To... To... To who? What? I don't really get how it all ended, but I have a hunch. Yuma, you did all the work, right? <laughs> huh? You're, you're willing to even accept that? That's surprising. Huh. Guess he's got good intuition. <laughs> Looks like I won't be calling you rookie from here on out. Hey, that's a relief. Let's keep working together, my man. Mind your manners as you walk your girl home. Uh, 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 thanks for the tip. What does that mean? What the f <sighs> Your girl? What did he mean by that? <sighs> yeah, it's a little awkward, just the two of us. Well, the three of us now. Uh. Huh? What is it? This tension. Don't tell me. Just tell me the secret already, please, please, please. Is this where they make babies? You nasty little freak! You gotta shut your mouth. They're just kids. Did something Disgusting. happen? You seem down. Yeah, three freaking people having died right in front of me. Huh? Oh, well. Actually, uh, I deal with that all the time. I'm a master detective. Tell me the secret. Tell me the secret, Wendy. Please, please. Although the case was solved. Three lives were lost. Wow, he's actually going to impart that info to her. Be like, yeah, and it's really bumming me. Oh. Right. I didn't expect Yoshiko and the others to. Um, could it be that their deaths are related to your forte? How on earth did you know? What? How'd you. Is she clairvoyant or something? Wow, we've got another sharp one. This sucks. No, no. Master, I hope you know this, but if you say anything about our contract... I know! That's what I'm thinking of! We're gonna... Just don't say anymore. Oh, sorry for saying something so strange. I know I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> Even if that were the case, you'd never tell me. Yeah, you have no idea. <sighs> hey, Kurumi... There's somewhere I want to go. You gonna take her on that rooftop that Yako showed us? I was thinking the same thing, big guy. Will you come with me? For some... Oh. Uh-huh. Sure. I guess. It's quite the view. I know you got, like, probably 15 hours of homework to do, but sorry. it just take a bit. Like, call me crazy, bro. I don't even... Do you think Yuma's even gonna continue to talk to Wendy? I don't think so. Like, he knows, oh my god, everyone around me is dying. I can't risk it. He, want, he wants to obviously date this girl and have a happy life, but there's, there's just no way. Wow. <laughs> what a nice view. Yeah, anyway, we're breaking up. We're what? Oh, I thought we were date. Uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, it's a really great view. It's like a secret hideout. I didn't know that Kamasaki had a place like this. Please, help me save this city. Save this city, huh? I managed to save Kurumi by solving the case, but I killed those three girls. I'm responsible for their demise. And is saving the city worth sacrificing lives to get there? Makes you think, like, I don't... <sighs> like, yeah, we could just be the villain and be like, oh, it just takes a guy break a couple eggs to make an omelet, Johnson. That's not the quote, but you know what I mean. If I had let the peacekeepers deal with it, at least their deaths could have been prevented. But then Kurumi and we wouldn't be closer to the real truth. What exactly did I even solve? It's not a true solution if we can't save everyone. What I gained in exchange for my memories isn't some convenient mystery solving tool. It's literally the power of a death god. It's a true Faustian bargain. It's, it's, that's a, that's beautiful storytelling, but I don't like it. <laughs> what are you?
are you musing about? Can you just be a little nicer to me? Like, come on. You're... I'm actually pissed off. She sucks. I'm sorry. I know everybody's like, oh, look at the fan art. Look at the, look at the, oh, they're coming out with an action figure. I don't give a break. She is terrible. I got baited by her gigantic. What's the biggest bra size? F G? I don't freaking know. I don't care. F you, Shinigami. You can't reclaim the past, and you're not going to get your memories back either. In the end, you just have to accept it. Accept it? Instead of believing in some vague thing like justice, just believe in the truth. They say there's only one truth, and there's only one type of person who can find their way to that truth. A detective. Detectives? Yeah. She's trying. I... No, F you! I hate your guts, but... Even if I have to sacrifice others to find it... I should let so many people die for screw the truth. Screw it. S screw it, dude. Yuma, this is... Th this is not our villain arc. This is our hero arc. Screw Shinigami. She's just a tool to us. We will use her to reach the truth and then be completely done with her. Screw it. That's all we got to do. If we kill a couple people, uh, fine. It's it's be it's better than this. This absolute hell. That I mean, this is the... Frick. Master, you keep going to extremes. <laughs> part of why you're a greenhorn. I know I've been pretty extreme. I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a certain way. Uh, seems like you still have much to learn under my guidance. She's just a tool. Just ignore her, okay? What is the truth? Why did I become a detective to seek it? You? You're waxing philosophical. Are you okay? Huh? Oh. Yes? <laughs> I know I already said this, but thank you so much. You are exactly the kind of person I thought you were. What do you mean by that? You're my hero. Oh my god. I feel like a villain, though. <laughs> I'm no hero. I was just trying to expose the truth. But thanks to you, I was saved. If you weren't around, I wouldn't be here today. Dang, she really didn't give a frick about those other girls. Jesus. That's why a detective who exposes the truth is a hero in my book. If there were more detectives like you in this city, maybe Aiko's death would have been solved earlier. Right, and the other... The, uh, those others wouldn't have been killed. I'm sure things would have been different. <sighs> Kanai Ward hasn't seen a hero like you in forever. That's why it's always been so dark here. So please, please continue to be our hero. No, Wendy, you're not. she's trying to help, but this might... A hero? Oh no. Maybe before I lost my memories, I was trying to become someone's hero. This time, there was a steep price to be paid for exposing the truth. Even Shinigami's like, what the frick? That's not even close to what happened. You're stupid, kid. But even so, the truth must always be revealed. I want to believe I can save someone. I want to continue being the hero she says I am. Still, I don't want to use Shinigami's powers again. <laughs> don't act like you don't like it, Master. Heavy breathing. Well, That's all I'll I'm say. Just glad you seem more motivated now. Motivated to get at the end of this game so we never have to look at each other ever again. Oh, yeah. We made a promise, didn't we? Yes, tell me the info. I'm sorry I'm a little little antsy right now, but I said I'd tell you about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret after the case was solved. Huh? Uh, oh, right. Right. How how fool how silly of me. Anyway, could you just give me the spoilers, please? Hey, you seem like you weren't expecting much. I honestly had zero faith. But that's where you're wrong. Just between you and me. What? I am Kanai Ward's only informant. Nah. -uh. Get out of town. What? No. What? Informant? Say what? No. Are you serious? A high school girl informant? Is she serious? Still a beginner, though. I started three years ago after taking over from my grandfather. Okay. Oh, whoa. She got some... Oh, that's seniority. All right. I'll take it. And now that the peacekeepers control the city, 
There isn't much of a demand for information anymore. No wonder you know so much about rumors. Besides... I haven't felt this nervous since I was chased by those peacekeepers. And she always tails behind people. That was in her talent thing. There was always a little kernel of it. <laughs> that also explains why the peacekeepers were after you. <laughs> so mischievous, Wendy. Oh my god. If Kurumi is an informant, maybe she does have some crucial information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I thought it's just because she was the daughter of you know, someone up there and that big skyscraper, but no. Also, holy frick, you are gigantic. Actually, I think it's just Yuma, but I don't know. They could make it work. Maybe he'll get a growth spurt. I don't know. Maybe she likes short guys. We don't know. <sighs> Kane Ward. Amaterasu Corporation. Peacekeepers. No idea what's in store for me, <laughs> but it's kind of starting to look up. You know, I've been... The deaths of those three teenagers is raining on my parade a bit, but... You know. You don't have to worry in the... You don't have to worry in the world, do you, Shinigami? Truly. I guess wor worrying is a privilege when you break it down. When you want to be a warped psychopath like her. Anyway. Secret time. So, Kurumi, what do you know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Well... It's likely connected to the top-secret research that Amaterasu Corporation is conducting. I think it has something to do with why the unified government approved of Kanai Ward's isolation. Top-secret research? Approved the isolation? Kanai Ward has always been a city centered around Amaterasu. But there was a lot more freedom in the past. People were allowed to come and go as they pleased. It became an autonomous zone. Free from the Yuji's influence only a few years ago. The reason behind it has to do with the top secret research that Amaterasu is conducting. What could be other than zombie soldiers so important they need to quarantine this place? Because that is a part of it. It's not just, oh, nobody can get in unless you take trains and survive being assassinated. But it sounds to me also people can't get out. You know what I mean? We did see those guys in that cutscene. They were like, brains. Okay, they didn't say brains, but... But what is the research? I don't know all the details, but it's supposed to be able to change the entire structure of the world. Ah, uh, what? All nations and enterprises worldwide want it. So, a weather-controlling device? Maybe. This research is what turned Amaterasu into a major global corporation. And that research is being done in Kanai Ward? I think so. It would explain why Kana Ward's been isolated. It's so their research doesn't leak out. Yeah, oh, right. That's a good point, too. Research that can change the world? If that's true, it's some serious stuff. No wonder number one of the WDO would risk his neck here. Do you know any more details about that research? I do know a little bit. Really, please. Grandpa risked his life to obtain one piece of confidential information about Amaterasu Corp. And I believe that somehow, it has to be related. What do you mean? Research to create a homunculus. An immortal monster. What? It really is zombies? Homunculus? Immortal monster? Also, I cannot believe this is the big plot twist me and my friend listen there's a sculpture called the homunculus that me and my friends will just send to each other on discord be like yo did you see this and spoil tag it and it's just you open it it's the homunculus you're, te you're telling me your grandpa died to show us this this i'm so sorry for your loss but that is hilarious no wait just a minute are you serious like that guy with his big goofy little hands? Like, I mean, they can't be big and little, but you know. I don't have any proof, but it's a fact that Amaterasu Corporation has previously researched homunculi. Homunculi uh, being researched in this city. I can't believe they actually just straight up told us. Is that like, no problem? No, no joke. Ultimate secret? Immortal monsters? Homunculi? It's turned into a fantasy story out of nowhere. Oh, I'm sure not one to talk. <laughs> That's all I know. Well, is my 
my information useful to you? Yeah. Although most of it was left behind by my grandpa. Hey, it's okay. Don't you don't gotta risk your neck. You're still young. He was old. And I'm. He said he's been a stepping stone. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm stepping on your grandpa's gravestone. But I'm just saying. Oh, monkeys. What does that mean? Left behind. One day, my grandpa just vanished. He's been missing ever since. Well, he may still be alive. Don't give up hope. That's I... why I decided to take over where Grandpa left off as an informant. So, do you think what I've shared might help? Yeah. This is huge, considering how I had nothing until now. Really? That's great! I'm actually useful to a master detective! Now, please do not die tragically after this scene ends. Like, that, I fear... Is, is that gonna happen? Oh, um, about that master detective thing. Oh, right. Truth bombs. Look, we're about to fly. That's where my grandpa used to live. Yeah, she, I guess she doesn't hear us. We're too low to the ground. Uh, <sighs> that takes me back. I wish I could see him again. <sighs> oh, well. And that's how you'll keep taking advantage of a high school girl. Huh. She keeps phrasing it. Is... Hold on. Theory Either time. Way, Kurumi, why do you think your grandfather disappeared? Do you think Yuma is a Detective Conan situation? Where he used to be an older dude, and because of the pact of losing our memory also, it it made him look a lot younger? Just a thought. Because that might be a little hint. I don't know, but yeah, 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 about your grandpapa. Could it be the peacekeepers? No, I don't think the peacekeepers have anything to do with it. What? Grandpa vanished before Kanai Ward became isolated. So, oh yeah, three years ago. I thought he just died three years. He was just suddenly gone. But I do believe I'll see him again someday. Do you think her grandpa's number one? Would they do that? Mate, I'm... Mm, I don't... <sighs> when you really look at them, though, they do have similar features. <laughs> Don't even know. What about this homunculus stuff? The homunculus research. If Amaterasu Corporation is still researching some immortal monster in Kanai Ward, it makes sense why there'd be such tight security. They fear the secret leaking to the outside world. Maybe it even has something to do with the great global mystery that Number One mentioned. Speaking of which, what could the great global mystery be anyway? I... I got no clue. Maybe... Because in theory, if you can create life from... Because that's what a homunculus is, right? It's it's life from nothing. I guess I need to do my research on the subject, but... It's just... Yeah, where did we come from? Were we created in a similar fashion? The human race? That might be it. There's too much stuff we don't know, but you're one step ahead of the other detectives now, yeah? Y yeah, I mean, it's not a competition, but... Guess that flat-chested uggo is kind of useful. Maybe I should stop calling her uggo now. I'll just call her flat. Still gonna hold on to that, huh? I guess this is technically an improvement. She has one thing she's proud of, and that's all she has on her. <laughs> that's so mean. Gonna keep this info to yourself, right? It'll help you get ahead of the other master detectives. Mm, maybe write it in a book somewhere. Well, I don't think Yako's the reading type, but no, I'll report this to everyone. This isn't something I can deal with alone. Heck yeah, Yuma. Teamwork. Ugh, how lame! Couldn't you strike a pose and shout something like, <laughs> "I'm coming for you, Amaterasu"? No, I'm good. I'm actually trying to not die. That's not my role. <laughs> All I can do is investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret just a little bit further. The rest should be left to the real master detectives to handle. Homie, oh, I, mean, I, I hate to say this, but... Oh, do you think once we once we get really close to the truth, we all just team up and everyone does their fortes to actually find the real truth? Like, <laughs> oh. This is my fault as your mentor for babying you so much. You've become the kind of detective Trying to solve problems yourself. Yeah, he has tons of agency. You are wrong. What's wrong with relying on others? He's 
It's, it's, it's a team effort. He's not the only one employed here. I'm his hype man, bro. I'm just actually personally offended. Also, like, what the? That's their only raincoat? Thank you so much for today. Your legs will be so wet. Like, what the? F Gotta phrase that differently. But the pleasure is all mine. You know what I mean. Like, that is not. <sighs> I'm kind of hungry. Maybe I should go buy a meat bun on the way home. Yeah, oh my God, Yako's dead. He's just you actually like sorry. Meat buns too, huh? Yes, I love them. I eat at least one every two days. They're kind of the comfort food of Kanai Ward. It's like I'm instinctively drawn to them. Oh, would you like to join me, Yuma? No, thanks. I'll pass. Dang, he actually... Dang! How do you think that's gonna make her feel? Come on, Yuma. We got tons of free time. No, I mean, Yako's dead. Like, he has not, nothing's gonna change that. Like, you know. I see. Oh, she looks so sad. Um... Will we meet again? Oh my god. You don't gotta be a detective to pick up on these clues. Oh my god. Wendy, she's trying. Huh? I don't know. It's a big city. <laughs> of course. That's great. If you ever need any information, you can count on me. See you later. But does he have like a phone or anything? How is he supposed to find you? Uh, like, I hope she's okay on her own. Don't let her die. I couldn't bring myself to say... I'll walk you home. <laughs> it's okay, you must. Just say it. What are you, 12? Are you sure you don't want to go back to the agency? Weren't you running an errand a while ago? That was like actually seven hours ago, bro. Uh, you're right. Oh no, I better hurry back. Meat bun in hand, right? <sighs> this oh. chapter had a bunch of highs and lows, but truthfully... A homunculus? What the dump? What does that mean? Why was I Googling lint? What the frick? Homunculus. A very small human or humanoid creature. That despicable humanoid creature. He will be found. The ultimate Kanai Ward secret. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. Another ghost. How are you alive? What? Anyway. Homunculus research. I still can't believe it's true. Does it ring a bell, Chief? Unfortunately, I've never even heard of it. You sure it's not just some rumor? The way Kurumi explained it leads me to think it's true. Regardless, there's too little information. We lack anything definite at the moment. Yeah, it's just one high school girl's... rumor, more or less. Still, it's better than having nothing at all. Well done, Yuma. But didn't number one say we need concrete info? Otherwise, it'll cloud our judgment. I... Thank you. Screw it, whatever. I'm... You're like a dog wagging its tail whenever you get complimented. Man, I, I don't even like them like that. Like, I'm just saying. We're on Team Wendy now, so. You were late getting back, but I never imagined you'd get yourself into another mess. Ugh, what the hell is going on? Like I'm being scolded by like a father figure. I don't like this. I'm so angry. I'm talking with the last. <laughs> what? I'm really sorry. Is that a thing? And your tail gets tucked between your legs whenever you get yelled at. Setting aside how I nearly died of hunger and that Yuma needs to be put on a leash. You picked another fight with the peacekeepers. That's the biggest problem here. I know, well, I mean, in fairness, they started it, so. We weren't picking a fight. Besides, we got to expose the truth in the end. That look on Martina's face was awesome. Right, Yuma? Don't say anything. That's Just leave him hanging. About. How can you be so relaxed? <laughs> Daffy Duck, is that you? <laughs> there, there, list man. Oh. Please remain calm. She's so nice. So. Is it true the culprits in that case suddenly died? That makes it similar to what happened in the mailman case. Oh god, you think they're gonna start thinking it's us? Moreover, it is also similar in that those involved in each case, like Desuhiko and myself, had their memories wiped. Hilares no, like, they're no chump. They know what's up, dude. There are too many common traits to call it a coincidence. Uh, Dude, what do you say? <sighs> Just hope they don't probe further, I guess. Memories related to the case disappear. <laughs> Perhaps.
Perhaps it is due to someone's fault. <laughs> Fubuki, shut the heck up! Uh, no way. What kind of useless forte would that be? Besides, no one here has an ability like that. Yeah, thank God. Could another master detective have found their way here? It'd be one thing if we were anywhere else in the world, but we're in Kanai Ward. We would have heard something, yeah. This isn't the kind of place some ambitious master detective could barge into by himself. If someone got officially dispatched here, I would know. Anyway, why are you all looking so glum? The case is closed and we got new information. It's a fantastic step forward. And Yako didn't die. Yeah, let's have a party. A meat bun party. Do they have pizza here? Oh my God, can we do delivery? Do they deliver to Kanai Ward? Probably not. It's springtime and all is right in the world. Is it springtime? Spring? It rains all year long here. And we've had nothing but trouble. Ugh! Just what the hell is going on here? <laughs> How can he do it's that? Like the hand of death itself. <gasps> no, we're actually. Did they? Does he know? Does he know? <sighs> Maybe that's his forte. He's so Mister Mystery. What's wrong, Vivia? You know what they say: the greater the detective, the more often they encounter death. I've actually never heard that. Isn't that right? You, Mom. That makes sense. Hey, I'm not that good, brother. Uh, that does kind of apply to you, Yuma. In a way, you're like a death detective. That would have been a way... Better name for this game? I don't know. Uh, don't take it the wrong way. I mean that as a compliment. But even if it offends you, I refuse to apologize. What? Apologizing is too much of a hassle. And you're already at your two paragraph limit. Yeah, I, I I get it. The Death Detective. You have a cool nickname, Yuma. Aw, shucks. No way. I don't want a nickname like that. Really? But it sounds so awesome. I kind of do like it. <laughs> it seems death has taken a liking to you, Yuma. That's one of your talents in a way. Hey, look at Vivia going for extra credit. Wow. Sheesh. I'll never understand this guy. I'll figure out how to discipline Yuma later. For now, we need to come up with a plan to handle the peacekeepers. You said this case involved Vice Director Martina, right? She's Director Yomi's right-hand woman. I heard she's both his close advisor and his mistress. Wait, his mistress? That implies he's married and... Whoa! I knew the I knew they were bad. I didn't know they were that bad. Adultery? Dante Devil Smile? That's effed up. I'm sure they're gonna make a move somehow. <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, I don't want to think about them making moves on them. But... What will they do? What? What? See, this is what I'm talking about. Did you just forget to pay the water bill? No, that's definitely a lot of water. I I retract my statement. I. What is going on? Everyone, brace yourselves! What? Are you serious? They're already attacking? <laughs> this is so funny! <laughs> no, you're gonna drown! <laughs> that is certainly a way to end a chapter. What on earth? They just started firing at the sub? The agency... For real? sinking. That's not cool. I mean, duh, but I like Where it. Where is everyone? I love the agency. Somebody... Help! They hey, Master! Snap out of it! No. What is Come going on? on? How do we get out of the? Dude, you do you do not get out of a sub alive. Like everyone knows that. Oh. They they can't end it there, right? They ended it there. Wow! Kaboom! <laughs> oh, it sank, all right. <laughs> I mean, we can't be surprised. This is the bolt of judgment, the fire of purification, a supernova explosion! Are you like seven years old? What on earth? Hey! Who prepared that torpedo? Unfortunately, it was I, Martina Electro. Unfortunately? Ah, uh, I figured it was you. What? What? Oh! 
That wasn't enough firepower! I told you to blow up the whole river and vaporize them! He just I? He just kicked her? Now it just looks like I'm causing chaos! Half-assed executions of the law are nothing but senseless violence! <laughs> what a loser. I told you to demonstrate perfect order! Listen to me. A clean and pure execution of the law is... Overwhelming, absolute, and completely blows everything away without a trace! Homie, that's all they had at Home Depot. What do you want her to do? I'm terribly sorry, Director oh. Yomi. No matter. You are my beloved right hand. Oh, that's nasty! You only need to remain by my side. But do get the XL torpedoes next time. Yes, thank you. I will forever be by your side to serve. Thing is, even though you're my beloved right hand, you still need to be punished. They're gonna kill her? Shut up. Huh? You couldn't even solve a case caused by a couple of brats. Not to mention the detectives escaped under your watch. But it's alright. Don't worry. You are my beloved right hand. I won't hurt you. I need you to stay pretty for me forever. Homie's gonna put her in carbonite. Oh, he ain't my homie. You you are disgusting. I I understand. So what is my punishment? See this? It's a recent invention by Amaterasu Corporation called a High Performance Presser. It can compress up to 50 kilograms of material and instantly turn it into a cube. This is disgusting. I don't even... Are you serious? Even humans can be turned into pretty little cubes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna puke! You need to start- you need to blast him! Do not turn into a cube, woman! I swear to God! I'll keep you on my person at all times, so you'll always be by my side. Who wrote this? I know who wrote this, but this is too you much. You are my beloved right hand. Please wait! What? You- you must be joking! Hey, you! Take my beloved right hand over there. Dude, don't show this. I'm good. I'm good. Just... Director Yomi, please wait! Please! Have mercy! That's so nasty. Oh, Martina. There's something I wanted to ask you before you go. What's... Love? <sighs> Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Take her away. Oh. Director Yomi! That's just a... You gotta make the next villain even more hateable, I guess. I... That's surprising. I... All right. Now, let's go find the corpses of those detectives that got blown up. Yeah, woohoo. How would you... How could you? What's going on? What is this? We're still going? Uh, oh, these are memories. This is us. Good day, sir. What? What's that? You don't know? I guess not, since you're still new. Maybe that's us? That's number one, the leader of the World Detective Organization. Wait, what? That's him? I had no idea. Why would someone that high up be here underground? There's a book vault here. It's a secret book vault that only number one can enter with his biometrics. Are they straight up just telling us we're number one? It supposedly contains data from generations of great detectives, sealed books, and so on. I mean, how else will we know this? I think I... <laughs> Didn't know that. I think we called it. We... Don't even think about going in there, newbie. Unless that's Yuma. I, I know. Oh, that doesn't sound like him. <laughs> Was it number one carry in a whole book just now? But we I wonder what that book was. But we talked on the on the phone. Curious? That wasn't a recording, right? Well, how about you go investigate? You may be a trainee, but you're still a detective. Investigate? Me? <laughs> Kidding. Don't take it so seriously, Yuma. Oh. Oh, thank God, because I, I don't want Yuma to be that wrinkly effing old guy. I, we took the book.
book from number one? But why was number one also really short? You know, I'm not, I'm not hating, you know, just old people, they kind of shrink a little bit. It's, it, you know, it happens to raisins, happens to the elderly, I guess. There's a lot go- oh. <gasps> We're in a hotel. What? Uh, uh -huh. Who saved us? Whoa, this is a really nice hotel. Wait, where am I? Oh, what? Beats the hell out of me. You got eyes. You know what happened. But weren't you by my side the whole time? <laughs> Don't you know what happened to us? Like that time back at the Amaterasu Express. I was only able to stay awake back then because we just made the pact and we weren't fully synchronized yet. That is so... You just pulled that out of your anus. Oh my god. But that didn't work this time. <laughs> Alright, Kodaka. You got one with, you know, the hand, the hand holding, right? And the sleeve with Martina, but that's that's two, bro. Come on now. Watching you. When you lose consciousness, my vision also goes dark. Okay. Actually, fine. do you remember drifting in the river after the explosion? You almost died. Hell, even as a death god, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. Though you perishing, I mean, that would just be the worst, right? Anyway, because your biological activity stabilized, I was also able to wake up. Wonderful. Everything's a-okay so far. Now, let's go find out where we are. I want to go exploring so bad, my eyes are watering. Okay. That's a bit dramatic. Wherever we are, I guess we're safe. Does Yako have, like, a friend that... I, I mean, I guess it's just what the hotel room is. Where are we? Look like it. Whoa! Let's no, look. Check things out for now. Look at the mini map, bro. What the dump? This is. This is not the same hotel we started the chapter in. Well, I guess we can start the chapter this time around. But... Oh my! This is quite nice. Not even a ghost has taste. What the frick? Oh wow. We're really high up. Karu oh, that ain't Karumi. Who, who's there? Oh, uh, what? Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you butt naked? I sure look suspicious, huh? Yeah. What is happening? Oh, come on, dude. That's a that's a good cliffhanger, though. I should know. I do them all the time. In fact, I'll do another. Ah! 